Feathers and Fur by Audrey Penn, illustrated by Monica Wyrick. A proud mother duck sat on her eggs. It's a wonderful nest, she told her mate. Eleven hearty eggs and not a snapping turtle in sight. Nearby, a young cat named Tuesday sat hiding in the shadow of an old oak tree. His ears twitched. His green eyes sparkled with mischief. Feathers and fur don't mix, the grown-up ducks told him. Stay away from our nest. Leave our eggs alone. But Tuesday was curious. Older cats told him that when the eggs hatch, little tasty ducklings make a yummy catch. So every afternoon, Tuesday sneaked a peek at the eggs. And every afternoon, the grown-up ducks quacked and snapped at Tuesday's tail. Feathers and fur don't mix, they quacked. Stay away from our nest. One day, while Tuesday lay napping indoors, a flash of lightning and the crack of thunder startled him awake. Tuesday stretched his long silky body and looked outside. The tree branches tumbled across the back lawn and thick muddy water poured like chocolate streams down a backyard hill. Suddenly the duck nest carrying all 11 eggs sailed past the window. Tuesday raced into the kitchen, dove through his kitty door and charged full speed into the gusting wind and rain. He leaped in front of the nest just as it was about to crash into a tree. When the storm quieted, Tuesday looked down at the nest. All 11 eggs were safe. Tuesday shook the rain from his fur and looked for the missing duck parents. He wondered if they had gotten lost or hurt during the storm. He was still wondering when he heard a strange sort of crackling noise come from the nest. Turning slowly, Tuesday looked down just as one of the eggs cracked open. Soon, 10 more eggs cracked open. Like a burst of magic, 11 tiny ducklings popped through. Oh my goodness, thought the cat. Do I eat them or greet them? Tuesday came closer to the newborn ducklings. They were as damp and matted as newborn kittens. Tuesday didn't care if they had feathers or fur. They're wonderful, he thought, and his heart fluttered with excitement as they peeped and chirped, filling their nest with new life. A small chip of eggshell stuck to one of the ducklings. Tuesday licked it off with his rough pink tongue. Gently and carefully, he went from duckling to duckling, licking and fluffing until all 11 were ready to greet the world. You must be hungry, he told the baby ducks. He helped them to the ground and led them to a nearby stream while well, they eagerly pecked at grass seed. As they ate, the duckling's soft downy feathers floated through the air and stuck to Tuesday's fur. See that, he told the ducklings. Feathers and fur fit fine, especially when they're yours and mine. Just then, the two duck parents swooped down out of the sky and landed with a flurry of quacking and hissing. Out of our way! Out of our way! They yelled at the cat. Feathers and fur don't mix. Get away from those ducklings. Scat! The older ducks shoved past Tuesday and gathered their children beneath their wings. We got caught in the storm and couldn't get back, they told the ducklings. Feathers and fur don't mix. We must get you away from that cat. The bravest little duckling wiggled out from underneath his mother's wing and waddled over to Tuesday. Tuesday's our very best friend, he told his parents. He saved our nest and fed us when we were hatched. That's right, peeped the others. Feathers and fur mix fine, especially when you take the time. The grown-up ducks watched in surprise as their tiny ducklings waddled in and out of Tuesday's legs 
and peeped tenderly into his ear. You're my best friends too, Tuesday told the ducklings, but I can't teach you how to fly or swim or bob for food. Those are things other ducks must do. The mother duck looked into Tuesday's gentle green eyes, then turned toward the stream. Come children, it's time to go. As the sad little ducklings followed their parents out of the yard, the mother duck turned toward Tuesday and quacked impatiently. Well, she asked, aren't you coming with us? Tuesday's face brightened as he leaped across the lawn. I thought you said that feathers and fur don't mix. I did, said the mother duck, but loving and caring do. You love these ducklings and they love you. Besides, she said, spreading a motherly wing over the young cat. Sometimes feathers and fur mix fine, especially if you're good and